It has been almost 10 years since a fertilizer plant in the city of West exploded, killing 15 people and injuring more than 300 others. Good evening, I'm Blake Hansen. Today, the city of West held a celebration to remember those killed in the blast and show how the city has recovered from the tragedy. Fox Horror's Davidson Tendry was there. It's been nearly 10 years since 15 people were killed and 300 injured after the West fertilizer plant exploded. Only a few thousand people live in the city of West, north of Waco. At the time, the explosion wrecked their community. Yet you have brought us to a place of abundance. Nevertheless, they're celebrating for how far they've come while remembering those lost. They tell me that I was the closest one to the actual explosion that survived the explosion. West Fire Chaplain Robert Payne responded to the fire at West Fertilizer on the evening of April 17th, 2013. 22 minutes later, a large explosion. Payne does not remember it. I don't remember anything about it. My memory cuts out before the explosion occurred and I didn't come to until the next day. Of the 15 killed, 12 were first responders. So many of our firemen that do remember it or still to this day having a hard time dealing with it. The impact stretched wide, more than 500 homes destroyed. A 93 foot wide and 12 feet deep crater was left behind. There were different theories as to what caused the explosion. Ultimately, the ATF ruled that the fire was intentionally set, but no one has ever been charged. There's still a $50,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and indictment. On Saturday, a larger sum of money. And it's in the amount of $100,000. Was donated to the West Texas Foundation from the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. I'm honored to be part of this community. People like Amy Epperson remember rushing to a nearby school to make sure her daughter and other kids were safe. And so my main concern was, of course, finding her. Saturday, her daughter is part of a choir singing like to uplift people still feeling the pain. I was in the hospital for two weeks, intensive care for a couple days. Payne says he's fortunate. He does not remember the explosion, but he'll always remember those who did not make it. They were the best of the best. As will the people of West. It's a way for us to honor them and to honor our past. Reporting, David Centendry, Fox 4 News.